What's up guys? Francis here at Magic Mist again. And just a quick uh, quick video here. I uh, just wanted to show you guys that I purchased an RBA deck that is made for the AnyVape Sega Tank. And uh, I installed it here in my uh, Atlantis V2 tank. And uh, I did a nickel build in it because I wanted to get nickel coils for the Atlantis, but I, you know, uh, nobody has them locally, and I didn't want to buy five of them. I don't know, maybe I'm cheap. Um, <clears throat> but uh, plus, I also thought, you know, why buy coil units if I can build it myself uh, and just rewick it periodically? So that's what I did, and uh, I got to tell you, it works, uh, but it is a challenge. Now I'm vaping at 546 degrees. I had this mod turned up to 75 watts, but I know that it only goes up to 70 watt in temp control mode. And when I fire it, you can see in real time the watts that I think it's going up to, what did that say? Yeah, 30 some watts or something like that. Now I'm going to take the top of this tank off and I'm going to show you why it's such a challenge. First thing I'm going to show you when I take the top of this tank off, and we're not sure if the coil is going to come with it or if it's going to stay in the base. That's the number one thing that is difficult. Uh, and it looks like it's going to stay. That's nice because uh, usually it comes off with the top section of the tank. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but <clears throat> and nickel requires quite a bit of uh, wire to achieve the resistance that you want and I think you might be able to see in there okay yeah you can see that now look how tight that is I mean I've got those that coil is up next to those screws and it goes all the way from one end of that deck to the other I've got just enough room to stuff my ports with cotton you can see here I've got these two juice ports stuffed with cotton and the way I did it was <clears throat> this lines up so that the coil lines up with those holes. Uh, the first couple times I did it, I tried to do it like a Delta II or, a, or a, a, an Orchid or I guess not an Orchid because it has a one-piece chimney or a K-Fun, right? So then you put your cotton through and then you pull the tails up and then you screw it. The sub-tank is that way. You screw that chimney section on and then you snip your cotton and stuff it down in on the deck. That won't work here. Um, and because of the nickel build, it's a very tight space. I've got 15 wraps of uh, nickel wire around a 3 millimeter in here to achieve the resistance that I wanted, which is point, point 0.15, okay? Let me screw this back on here. Not a lot of juice in there right now because I'm just kind of doing the testing to make sure that it's not you know, over wicking and leaking down through the airport or over wicking and coming up in th uh, to my mouth. Um, and it seems to fit very well. I heard that it was, at least on the V1 now, uh, that there would be a gap between the glass and the base, but that's not happening here. So let's see how it's doing again. So far, this build, which is the third one I've done in here, seems to be working remarkably well. Um, you know, I don't know if it's going to hold up like that, but if it does, I'll be satisfied. It does in my Delta II when I do this type of build in there. But as of right now, it's doing pretty well. The flavor is better than a stock coil, I can tell you that much. Vapor production is on point. It's really